Okay, you guys, what is up? King here today to do Bleach chapter 587, the Headless Star. Six. Uh oh. Six. Six, six, six. Hail Satan. Live reaction. Now, first thing off the guy I see is a color page, and you can see Chad right there. And when you go down, yeah, you see, when you go down, you're like, whoa, wait a second, hold on now, Kubo, whoa, Kubo, did those grow? I could have saw, I could have sworn that she was a few sizes smaller a few years ago, since we last saw her, but all of a sudden, now I'm not saying that the Saibu isn't hot, I'm just saying like, wow, like Koobs, like that's kind of a... Yikes! Like you, <laughs> scared. Like those things are dangerous, man. Like, th like they have some power. Like they, <laughs> there's some power there. I'm just saying. All right. So now that my, now that my utensil has loosened up, it's no longer, it's no longer erect. Let me move on. Of course, Ichigo yelling at Uryu, say something. No. Dummy, say something. Ah, I'm gonna need you to say some, baby. Say some, baby. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yo, man, Ichigo needs you to say some, but no. Uryu's like, fuck it. I'm out. Deuces, peace. <laughs> and the clouds open up, and like the heavens themselves are parted. They allow the Quincy King and his minions to enter the Soul King Palace. And Ichigo's trying to go up there, but he's going to fail, obviously. Orihime and Chad somehow stop Ichigo. And now it rains. Chad just throws Ichigo. Hold on. Let me just go back and make sure that I kind of got that, because... It was like Orihime and Chad out of nowhere, like tackle Ichigo in midair. And like they get sent flying over there. Like they get sent flying a ways away. Yeah, so it's kind of like here we have Ichigo. He's rushing towards, you know, the arrow. And then there is a white light panel that we see on the side. And after that white light panel, something occurs where. They get sent flying a ways away. So, again, you know, Koobs, he has his strong points. But piecing together a puzzle isn't exactly one of his strong points. Meaning, sometimes, actually a lot of times, Kubo does have bad articulation between point A and point B. And honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. But the moment Ichigo tried to like run towards Uryu and he was yelling out, Say something! Say something! Say something, baby. The moment he did that, it reminded me of the old Ichigo. So, you know, this whole mature, like I'm mature because I'm more powerful. Eh. I think Ichigo, in order to actually mature, he has to mature, as in like get older, you know? And, you know, look at me. I'm such a mature individual. Prime example. <laughs> and then finally, it takes Chad and Orihime to bring to, to bring Ichigo back to his senses, to bring him back to composure. Urhar Kisuke is in. Urhar Kisuke is in. What? Shall I arrange for our travel vouchers to the Spirit King Palace? Might take a minute or 60. Like, Urahara is like a fucking department store of all you need. Like, like that that's what he is. He is the department store of all you need. You want something, I got it. You want something, I got it. Okay. Oh, you can't find it here? I got it. Don't worry about it. I got it. I got you covered. If I don't have it, I'll get it for you. Trust me. I'm a doctor of some sort. So, like, the fuck? Like, like Seriously. Did he ever get these things? Like, I forget. No, because I remember... I remember... Kyoraku... 
giving Ichigo's friends tickets to Soul Society whenever they needed to go there. But I don't recall Urahara getting Soul King Palace tickets. Like round trip and shit. Like no. Like like Yeah, seriously. U Urahara, he's he's He's, he's just too convenient. Urahara himself was like a plot device. Oh, Renji's in Bankai mode already. Shit, alright. What's, what's going on here? Is the heat going ham right now? I don't know. So apparently there was some kind of blast. Okay, so that's what it was. Alright. So now I understand. After some dialogue from Ruki and Renji, I understand now. The moment, like, the arrow went up to the actual, like, upper area. There was a huge blast, like a huge shockwave. And so what we saw was the actual force, like the wind, the pressure that was being distributed across the entire area. So it affected the people who were fighting and Ichigo. So that's why Ichigo and Orihime and Chao were blown back. Because it was an explosion of some kind. But Kubo depicted the explosion as a white light. And it was like, what the fuck? So, like a small, like you guys saw, a small panel on the side, white light. The fuck is that? So, yeah. But now we know from dialogue, it was an explosion. And now they've been separated. So, meaning the 6 on 8 match has been divided now. And clearly, the Heat, Basby, still there. Still doing his thing. You know, I highly doubt that Basby said, doesn't it just grind your gears when your friends become your enemies? I highly, highly doubt that in the original Japanese translation, Basby says, grind your gears. I highly doubt it. Basby considers his mohawk majestic. After a few crude words and explosions from Renji, you better not be talking shit about this fucking majestic mohawk. Okay. Talking shit about chickens, Renji. <laughs> they wake up early, all early in the morning and lay eggs and stuff. Pretty noble if you ask me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. He made he compliments Renji's eyebrows. Renji's like, you know, this guy's pretty cool. Basby, too late, asswipe. Too late. I got some Raikage. What the fuck is this? Burner Finger 4. What the what the fuck is this? Whoa! Like uh, yo, a saber. What 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 a saber? Hello, Basby. I thought that he, you know, but I thought that he was gonna go like, you know, well, maybe there's nothing in between like lava and the sun surface. I don't know. Whatever. Moving on. So he creates the sword of fire, Renji surprise face, and the end result is uh, like Kubo always does, explosion of some kind. Yay, Kubo. Yay, Kubo. All right, the clouds are moving, finally. Soul King Palace. Wow, you are quick. Quick with this motherfucker, quick. Yo, the side pillars are breaking and shit. All that remains are the five floating cities around the upper royal palace area. And yo, you you are Bach and the boys, man. You are Bach and the boys. They're going in. They're like, yo, it's game time, motherfucker. We here to stay. We here to murk. We ain't playing no games. Yo! Oh. <laughs> Yo! Oh. I love it. I love it. It is time to reinstate spirit Nazis. Yo, man. Heil 
Yuha. Heil Yuha. That's how he roll. Spirit Nazis 101. I like it. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, that should be the chapter, I think. Yeah, that's the chapter right there. They end They end on that nice epic panel of just Yuha, Uyu, and Hashball. Like, yo, game time. Like, what? Uh, it's game time. Yeah. I like it. Alright, so I'm done. I'm done. I will see you guys tomorrow for the review. Have a nice day. And Grim, I don't know where Grim Jow is, but he should be coming. Alright, he, he should be coming. Alright, I'll, I'll see you guys later.